morning everyone and a very happy Sunday to you. Let us begin as normal with a ritual cleanse. Breathing in the love, breathing out everything else. Just feeling good and happy and looking into the light. Shining brightly, cleansing, beautiful light. And it just so happens it is a beautiful day here today. The beginning, I showed you a view from the front of my house this morning, and we're really blessed to have such a gorgeous day. And it's getting so close to the end of the year. So, today I'm going to talk about a few things. I'm going to announce the winner of this really gorgeous wand. You can see up close there, <clears throat> there's a quartz point and a beautiful topaz central piece. There's a little bird, little starling type bird and then a really nice deer all on I think birch wood is the wood that I have there and it's really nice wood um, and it feels really good so it'll be whoever wins it it'll be a really welcome part of their ritual um, doings whenever I do rituals I always include my wand and um, I find it really useful even when I'm cleansing if I run the sage around my head and then I take the wand and I move it around the rest of my body and work on any area that might have a little bit of pain a lot of people get pain in between their shoulder blades i find the wand really useful for releasing that and press the point on the back of your neck and up and down the spine and asking the point of the wand to release any pain or discomfort you might have and then cleanse the wand afterwards with the smoke from the sage. So I hope everyone is having a really nice festive season. We've been blessed here. The weather hasn't been too bad for us. And hopefully wherever you are, you've kept warm and well fed and everything you need you have. And I'm gonna talk about making new year's resolutions and most people do this but often it, it can just be something we say without really meaning it and if it's something that you really want to change you really have to change your way of life and that can simply be changing five minutes a day it doesn't have to be a huge task by any means of the imagination and in those five minutes, if you just write down how you're feeling or maybe you'd like to meditate in those five minutes and find a safe space to do a guided meditation. Now, if you look down um, in my videos, you'll see that there are some guided meditations and some of them aren't very long and they will be very useful for you for setting you up through the day for different reasons. So do please give them a try and subscribe to my channel. I will be very grateful for that. And every Sunday I'll do a reflection vlog and the odd time I will add in videos about helping um, you to understand how to work with your body energy better. So I always talk about making sure your body energy is cleansed each day. 
So in the morning time, it's good that if you make your New Year's resolution and you decide that each morning you're going to have five minutes to yourself, doing your cleanse, maybe lighting a candle, if you can put it somewhere safe that it can burn down without causing a problem. And just being, just sitting in a comfortable position, noticing your thoughts, acknowledging them, releasing them and letting them go. And constantly breathing from your heart, breathing in the love, breathing in your very soul, understanding who you are. And these five minutes a day can in turn turn into something greater. You may end up spending by the end of next year an hour each day with yourself, um, understanding who you are, really listening to that deep voice inside ourselves and acknowledging what's going on, what's true to you and helping yourself as much as you can by being kind and respectful to your body. This is where peace begins. This is what I talked about um, from the quote last week on Sunday's reflection. That peace isn't about, it can be about gatherings, it can be about helping people get free from really bad existences, but the very essence of peace begins within ourselves and that begins with you making a conscious decision to be peaceful and to always try and remain as peaceful as you can even though there could be external forces that um, are making that quite difficult for you try to rise above that whatever it is um, Words can sometimes be the wrong thing if someone is in your face. Often it's best to take a couple of steps back and not acknowledge them if someone is angry in your face. Rather give them space and then come back to them when things have calmed down. But of course learning how to do that can be difficult because all our lives we have been faced with different circumstances and we've learned different ways to react. So in order to keep our body energy relaxed, we need to sometimes really think about where we're at right at that very moment when something happens. So that's the key to understanding yourself and it's the key to bringing peace to your life. And it's the reason why we take those five minutes, half an hour, an hour a day, to be at peace with yourself, to be at one with yourself, to be completely in tune and just noticing what's going on around you and you will notice over time that things change for you because things that maybe before might have seemed as an awful task or very hard to do you, you do without thinking about it even though it's not your most favorite thing in the world you just get yourself into a way of being able to deal with it I'm not saying that we should do that either, but sometimes we don't have a choice and sometimes our difficulties are around us in our day to day life. So if that's where you're at in your own life, where everything seems to be very hard for you, then you definitely need to take some time out with yourself and be at one. So I would recommend trying my tree meditation. Um, if you scroll down you'll see it right down probably near the end of the beginning if you know what I mean of the video list and um, it's very useful at bringing calmness to your mind at setting you up for the day at helping you connect back with mother nature and helping you connect with yourself and we do have videos for sale or should I say sorry DVDs for sale no CDs for sale, sorry, pardon me, CDs for sale that have a lot of other, of other meditations. We do one called Kundalini Meditation, which helps you rebalance the chakras in your body and helps you really get to know yourself. And we also have an animal totem CD, which 
is really good for anyone starting out meditation it helps you through it step by step and they're quite short meditations easy to get into where you meet your spirit guides and you meet your animal guides and it gives you space to understand that comfort zone that you find when you find your spirit guides and your animal guides so um you can contact me by pm if you're interested in buying them they're 12 euros each or they're two for 20 euros um i'm also still doing the tarot card reading for 2015 um, again please pm me if you're interested a full year's detailed reading is 30 euros so you get it in your inbox so every month you can check in with anything that i put down for that particular month what's going on for you and it's quite useful to look back on and i'm happy to say that i've had a lot of happy customers from 2014's readings and so if you if you're interested please do pm me either on facebook or contact me through here and i will help you find out whatever it is you need to know so that's enough advertising from me and um mm. this year my own resolutions are to definitely write more uh, because I am writing a book at the moment and it's going to be a book on many parts of enlightenment the most important part is about connecting with ourselves so it'll be understanding the divine soul and understanding that we are living on a divine soul and without her we wouldn't have a home so it's this book is obviously going to be dedicated to mother earth and it's also dedicated to her children who all of you are and who all of you are really really special people and a lot of you don't have any idea what that really means for you so through the year i'll be doing my vlogs and at different times i'll talk about what i'm writing and hopefully it'll help you guys and then when i have the book written it'll be available for download straight away and then i have to try and figure out publishing in some way or another um so it's going to be a bit of an exciting journey for me next year and putting down my resolution here and now will make me talk about it every week which might annoy some of you but i promise not to dwell on it for too long and I hopefully will inspire others to follow their own dreams and um, one of mine has always been to to write about my viewpoint on spirituality and our connection with mother earth so let's get to the tarot cards which I drew today and they're quite interesting cards actually the first card is the lovers so ladies and gentlemen any of you out there in relationships it might get a little bit spicy for you relationship wise this week and i wish you plenty of love and for anyone who isn't in relationships you may also find yourself being um looked upon with good energy from another person and maybe the two of you will hook up maybe not but hopefully for all of us we will feel a lot more love because that's what we need and we all say it you know the greatest thing in the world is that feeling of love it's that kiss from the person you love the most it's a hug from your child it's watching your children have fun watching your family have fun it's all of those wonderful things that we can normally see at christmas time and during the new year and i hope that you do see a lot of it this year and that you're all feeling well and good for it and that it is a peaceful happy time for you all and that you get a little bit of love thrown in there too from someone you fancy 
So that is my wish for you. The second card, interestingly enough, is the Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is generally an opportunity um, coming your way. Uh, that could be that one decision that you make that you've been putting off and when you finally make it you unleash enormous amount of power and you find a wonderful way of living that you never realized was there before so if there is opportunities knocking around you maybe look into them take them a little bit seriously and consider doing something about it it would be probably a good thing for you i would say this opportunity though has a short shelf life and that it will be a good thing for a day or two but it's not going to be one of these long lasting things i do feel it kind of has a fleeting energy about it but a good one so during the time that the opportunity is happening it is good so it could be somebody offering you the chance of a lifetime to do something in one day or it could be something that you need to do in one day or it might be you're going to see something um, that you've always wanted to see that you've never seen before or a band that you've always wanted to see that you've never seen before but whatever it is this new opportunity will bring a lot of happiness and a lot of fun to you for a little bit of time so the last card we have is the ten of wands and I think in some ways that can epitomize the end of Christmas because sometimes if we feel the pressure of Christmas we go to seven different people's houses for dinner we see more people that, than we've seen all year and we talk more than we ne we've ever talked before. And then we suddenly realize we're absolutely exhausted and we don't know how we're going to get through the next week. And my trick to you or tip to you here is do what's in your heart only. You don't have to be all things to all people. You don't have to spread yourself thinly and you can pick and choose where you go. It is easier to say no than you think. And although that sometimes might give you a little feeling of letting people down or whatever, that is going on inside of you and it may not necessarily be going on inside of them. So try and take it easy is the key to that card. Try not to overdo it. Try to realise that you have another week ahead of you. There's a, probably a lot going on, or maybe not. So if there isn't, take advantage of that time to spend time in nature, to look after yourself more, and to plan your New Year's resolutions. And wishing you all a wonderful New Year's celebration, wherever you may be. And I hope that whatever resolutions you set are realistic this is what i was saying at the beginning commit to something for five minutes a day before you decide to do something really big and see how that feels and monitor yourself over the weeks even keep a weekly diary where you just write in it once a week and see over time how that feels for you so the last thing we're going to do today is we are going to pick the winner for this wonderful wand. I'm very excited about this because I absolutely love this wand. It's got gorgeous energy and I know it's going to bring a lot of power to the person who wins it. So wishing everybody luck as I have a little look and... I'm just going to have to move my hand to choose um, because I've nowhere to put it down. Just one second. And the winner is Rachel 
Rooney. So, sorry about that. My camera decided to turn itself off. Um, oh, I'm turning this up the wrong way. So, Rachel Rooney, please contact me. And wishing everyone else good luck in the future um, giveaways that I'm going to have. And sending much love your way. Uh, have a beautiful Sunday. From me to you, uh, may your heart be filled with love. And may you always know peace. And enjoy your day. Enjoy every minute of your day. And if it's a beautiful day like it is here today, go on outside and enjoy it. Much love. Namaste.